break before we come back. <laughs> it's his wife, Tammy. There you are. Oh, dear. Oh. Isn't that nice? You know, I was doing the Masters that year, and there was no such thing as videotape, and he did that before we came on the air. Well, he plays very fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get down to Al Troutwig. Bob, that was perhaps one of the most dra dramatic shots in recent memory in golf. I wonder just what your feelings were as you stepped up to the ball in that bunker. Well, I, when I got up there and I saw that the ball wasn't buried, I said, Mark, I see, you know, we still have a chance if we can get the ball up and down. Actually, I thought Greg's ball was on the green, and, you know, it's just a shot that you practice, and it, it went in the hole. You have been uh, described quite frequently this week by members of the media as the poker-faced kid, but when you were jumping up and down in that bunker, I think that all went out the window, didn't it? Yeah, I, I tell you, I can hardly talk. I mean, you know, I'm pretty serious, but right now I'm the happiest person in the world. Why don't you introduce us to this young lady with you? My wife, Tammy. Tammy, how did you feel? Did you feel Bob was out of it? My goodness, he had his back up against that wall. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking about. I just went crazy when it went in. Bob, it was perhaps the most dramatic of settings. The top two money winners on the tour, Greg, of course, the dramatic British Open champion. You stayed with him down the stretch and then off 18. What were your thoughts when that tee shot went into the deep rough? Well, you know, I wasn't very pleased. Uh, it's a sh hole that you got to hit it in the fairway. I hit the ball pretty good. It just hung a lot to the right a little bit. And I uh, didn't have a very good lie. I was just hoping maybe I could get enough on the ball to get to the green. Um, but it worked out all right. You know, for everyone who was ready to, to say that Greg Norman was the next superstar of golf, and he has arrived and he has achieved that status, you have proved this year that you deserve to be right up there with him in 1986, don't you think? Well, thanks. Uh, it's been a, a great year. Uh, you know, hopefully I can just keep practicing and keep getting better, but uh, for this to happen, it's just unbelievable. Really happy for you. The kid from Oklahoma State with us now to present the Wanamaker Trophy as the president of the PGA, Mr. Mickey Powell. Mr. Powell? Thank you, Al. We, we're excited for you, Bobby. We know it's a great moment for you. You're going to be a great champion, your first major win. And like Al said, to come down to the wire with, with Greg, it, it's just fantastic. Thank you very much. Great going. Bob, just one last question. It took uh, Greg Norman quite a long time before the victory at the British Open sank in. As a matter of fact, he says he's not quite sure that it has sunk in yet. Has any any of this hit you yet, aside from the emotion that we're seeing on your face? Well, I don't know. Well, one of these minutes I'll be able to talk, but right now I can't. Uh, it's just something you dream of all your life. Uh, keep working hard, practicing, and hope that you could do it. And uh, it just worked out. You know, it's long. Long, hard road, and finally made it. All right, congratulations. I'll tell you something, Jim. All the people that surrounded this green, you know, love the game of golf. And when that ball went in, there was just so much emotion. Everybody here had chills, as you described it. Back to you. Well, I'll tell you what would tell the story of the Grand Slam Championship of this year. A series of four pictures of Jack Nicklaus at age 46 hugging his son and caddy as he walked off the green at Augusta. Of Ray Floyd with tears in his eyes as we interviewed him after winning the U.S. Open, of Greg Norman hugging his wife as he got the trophy at the British Open, and of what you've just seen with Bob Tway. I've never seen a more dramatic year in golf. I, I, I can't talk either. I mean, Bob's <laughs> got me going, too, and I'm so happy for him. I'm sad for Greg, but I'm really happy for that young man. Okay, let's have one more look at it. The shot that won the people. And there, of course, the poker face Bob Tway. Yeah. There are times, no matter how much poker there is. <laughs> hey, are we lucky to be covering this game of golf, Jack and Dave? Both Jacks. Well, the great thing is to see young players like this come along and see how they react when they win something. This is what makes it major, for Pete's sake. You bet. We're going to take a station break here in a moment as we're still coming to you live 
from the Inverness Club in Toledo, Ohio, where Bob Sway, Oklahoma, has won the PGA at age 27. We'll be right back with more action, not action, but talk after 